Good morning guys, um, welcome to my channel. My name is Seho and um, if you are watching us for the first time, welcome. We hope that you will love our family and if you are a subscriber or if you've been here before, thank you for clicking back and checking with us again. Guys, today we are doing a tour of Blawayo City video and yeah, so we hope that you can come with us. The weather has been gloomy the last few days. I don't know if you can actually be able to tell. Um, yeah, we've had like really sunny summers and amazingly my garden has been able to survive because of how warm it's been this winter. Um, but yeah, this week things just took a different turn. Um, I was just saying to Amon, it's as if the weather is in just um as mimicking what's happening in south africa it's like it's about as gloomy as the events that are taking place i was just thinking about that this morning and i was just saying hey you know for years we've always heard that zimbabwe used to be the breadbasket of africa we've never actually thought of south africa in those terms but south africa has really supplied the southern region um in bots we are doing well economically but um, we don't produce much hey we get everything from south africa so we are literally grief with, with them what's happening to them uh happens it's it, it's really going to affect the southern region and i say in bots <laughs> it's because i'm from botswana and yeah in zim i have realized that we do manufacture some things but botswana is mostly totally dependent on south africa so we do grief with the nation and we pray for the people of South Africa. This is our first fuel station into town. Just showing this because um, sometimes people don't know that there's normal things in Zim. I thought while in Bulawayo I should show you Amon's former church. Um, I just am fascinated by the building with church. It's unusual for a church. It's a pretty cool building. Church, this is the side of the okay what is the one with the fetch then that's the church that's the wall like where you come and have coffee this is where you come and have coffee mm. here the white one mm, that's okay the one. Yeah. that's nice wow the coffee place is like a big church itself yeah. <laughs> pretty cool oh and this one used to be the youth uh, building, building yeah. wow and there's that one there it used to be the scout the one at the back yeah. this building white building yeah okay that's nice there's all these um what do you call them quaint uh places in blawayo um what's the word i don't know what the word is so we are on our way we're approaching town we're getting pretty close to town but we do have a mall coming up here, which is called Ascot Mall. It's the city of kings and queens. So there's a total station here. Yeah, and this, yeah, it, it has a cafe, hey? And then this is Ascot Mall over here. We have modern shops, like you have your pick and pay. Um, we do have like a lot of normal things. <laughs> <laughs> and then just here behind the mall, we have a, a hotel. There's a Holiday, a holiday Inn. Home. It 
which was about maybe a 20 minute drive from here on the same on the same straight road um, it is about 20 minutes unless if you're flying then maybe you might take 15 minutes from town yeah Amon was just reminding me that um, this neighborhood like this is like some of those old houses that are that I was talking about but they are so beautiful hey so we're approaching the place where we are doing our first errand and as you can see there is the only KFC in Blawayo here and, um, I'm nervous in the car and I always uh, co-drive Amon and he always gets annoyed. Uh, so anyway, we're doing like a first errand here and right across from here is where I absolutely love these streets. So, on one of our missions, oops. While we're running the errand, we got some built home. Yummy stuff. So we're now in town, and those is, is those silos, those yes. things, they used to be for storage. No, these ones are not for storage. It used to be for this. They are for electricity yeah. for the electric electricity company. Um, yeah, they are so synonymous with Bulawayo. Normally, I think that's how they like to depict Bulawayo. Yes. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. Someone once said. Um, Imagine big African mall. <laughs> so it's an old town, and you know the the old way of building was shops next to each other, unlike the modern way of building where it's indoor malls. So it's like a huge town with shops next to each other, and um, what you call? Yeah, town makes me nervous. <laughs> And I forgot my train of thought completely. Yeah, shops next to each other. Yeah, like here's a spa, check it. This is the spa. <sighs> yeah, I've lost my train of thought. Yeah, so if you are from Bart, somebody said imagine a big African mall. And the thing about Zimbabweans, unlike us, is that they know their street names, hey? And these people, they will walk this town like it's nothing and when they uh, tell you a place uh, like this is bank ABC when they tell you about a place they will tell you which street is on and stuff like that but our street names and bots are usually stoner names and these are names that are unfamiliar that I don't know it's like Asian people's names you, you, we don't really use those difficult names so it's hard to to remember and so I think that's why it's hard to remember the street names we use landmarks to explain where places are and that's a, a hotel owned by the Nesbits they own some amazing hotels um, and one of the hotels where we got engaged at uh, uh, the Nesbit castle is theirs but I think the N1 hotels are not their most nicest ones there yeah? yeah. but yeah they have some amazing hotels Oh, and this is um, a favorite meat place right here, Head and Hooves. Um, yeah, this place can have long queues sometimes. And as you can see, we're at another pick and pay. And we're going right here, which is immigration, because I'm up for renewal. Yeah, that's the one place that makes me nervous, hey? <laughs> but I'm only going to get forms. I, I can already hear my, my nervous laughter. I don't know why I get nervous. When you have all your paperwork together, there's no problem, but it makes me nervous. So we decided to walk and um, yeah, there's people everywhere. I was saying to Amon, <laughs> I struggle to to put people's faces on camera. I feel like it's not respectful, and so <laughs> which makes me struggle to record. But this is this is the main post this is the main oh this is the main post office right here. <laughs> the 
this building right here. This is kind of like the waiting area. So these are like the boxes, so then you have your number. Okay, and this is where we have to come when we want to open a pure box. So Amon was telling me this whole building from the beginning are there coming all the way this way is different departments of the post office okay so the post office owns it but they're leasing it to some other businesses and and this building right here is the art gallery the way back to the car and this is a power sales which is more like a pep or your occupants but look at our old city hey even the the street lights are old can you see the jet over there that's the post office from this side of the road And that's the main building with the with the actual post office. Um, yeah, we're actually chasing lock, lockdown curfew, so. That's the public library. Below are your public library. So we're leaving immigration, and um, we had left the car here to walk. And I just wanted to show you these buses. There's a queue of them. Um, they used to operate a long time ago. Mm -hmm. I mentioned they were government buses. Yeah, they're government buses. So um, with the beginning of, of lockdowns, um, they started being the main buses that are picking up the public as well. Their prices are reasonable. And um, so if you earn minimum wage, you are able to travel easily with them to go to and for town, especially like the area where I stay, the people there work in Bulawayo town. And with these buses, it's at least affordable to travel. But with normal public transport, normal transport that the public uses, taxis and combis, um, you are not as e easily able to travel. It's been a hot day traveling and walking in the scarf. Um, so anyway, Amon tells me that they were operating before and people were just not using them. And now that transport has become expensive, people now use them. It's by the government because um, by, by a normal, by a combi, you're looking at about one US dollars from where we stay to, to town. But by, by Zupco, it's to be like 30 bond. Yeah, which is how many, how many cents? Uh, less than 20 cents. Yeah, that's reasonable. <laughs> mm. We stopped in town for, for service in the car and Amon got some lunch. Well, I also did a good french fries, but Bob is his favorite thing to eat in town. <laughs> well, you're cracking me up, you keep dabbing your mouth with it. Because mm. he just ate, what is it called? Mm. Mohodu, what is it called? Matumu. The, uh, the intestines of yeah. a cow, and it's greasy, so he keeps dabbing his mouth with up. So we've just left the garage. Um, it was just on the edge of town, and I've been anxious because we're chasing curfew. Um, now we're gonna leave the city through a different route. And this is the orthopedic hospital. So the other hospital by the orthopedic hospital is on the other side, it's called UBH, it's a government hospital, ne? Yeah. And then you have Fazak here, and Fazak is basically like our game stores. Sun in Shona. Yeah. It's a local, what do you call, franchise of a fuel station. And 
we're approaching CBC, which is called Christian Brothers College. It's a private high school. Um, it's right here. that there were going to be uh, traffic, uh, what do you call roadblocks? Because one, I would think there would be people coming in through from South Africa. Secondly, I thought the government would be on alert um, just to prevent um, outbreak of, of riots here. Because sometimes if something happens in another country, it can spark in another country. We've seen it with the George Floyd riots. And, um, but no, there's no roadblocks and definitely quiet, which we're thankful for. So yeah, maybe that was a, their way of dealing with it, to, to take their hands off a little bit. Because sometimes if you come across a bit as aggressive, people might feel like you are you're choking them and they might react as well. And this used to be our former uh, place where we used to shop. Um, not because we used to shop there, because it was close to the house. So if you want like some something quick, then we would pop in. But if we were doing groceries, we would have to go either to town or one of the indoor malls. Okay, but maybe not indoor, but modern. One of the modern malls. And then over here is the country club, which is probably the last place I'll show you in Bulawayo. It's empty, there's lockdowns, um, Amon is having golf fever. <laughs> oh yeah, so right next to the country club is the rock church with the blue building popping out here. Alright guys, that's about it I'm showing you from Bulawayo. Hope you enjoyed the trip around Bulawayo. We are now back on our road and on our way home. Yeah, I just wanted you to have a little bit of appreciation of where we live and how everything looks like so hope you enjoyed the video